Hello, Coco Clan. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great week. It's been it's been a good week actually. Our president is already sworn in. You know. Let's see if he's gonna make the changes he says he's gonna make. Um, my mood is not exactly the best right now, especially uh, if you're following uh, my. 75 hard challenge you might see that on that side it's week six and um, I just got an injury so I'm bummed because I couldn't do my workout so I decided let me come here up here instead because it's too early <laughs> and um, I've been so busy to just create some content and just put myself together to do the whole process you know but then it seems now what occupies most of my mornings is impossible to be done I guess it's an opportunity for me to do this other thing right and um, I think the thing that has been ringing in my mind a lot lately is this self-love movement you know it's become so popular right now Love yourself, take yourself out, have a bubble bath, you know, buy yourself that shoe even when you know you're supposed to say, you know. Self-love needs a dose of self-accountability. Now, how do I put this in perspective? Like, for instance, the 75 hard challenge for me, the only reason I decided to share with the world is because it holds me accountable you see once you declare that you have to do something publicly it, you have to do it at least for me you have to do it because you said you're gonna do it are the people who are gonna be watching you and they're going to be holding you accountable so you need accountability now in in some situations where you can't always show you know there are some things that are very personal you know you can't always show everyone but there's some people who can can know the situation and maybe try hold you accountable. These are very few people, maybe your friends, family, brothers, sisters, you know. But the self-love movement needs a bit of self-accountability. And I don't think that's something we talk about enough because, uh, like I said, self-love is, is put... It, it, let me, let me explain something first. In my opinion, self-love is not doing what you want. Self-love is not eating an extra cookie when you know you're already even full. Like you're eating just because you want to. Let me treat myself because I want to. Self-love is doing what you need to. Going for my morning runs, it's not fun. Kwanza, Yes, the, like there are days I don't even feel like doing it. There are days I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna do that again, you know. But then, in the long run, what does it do for me? I get healthier, you know. I move much faster. I move like my movements are better. My my posture is better. My body is feeling much better. But these are not things that we necessarily want to do. Saving is not exactly something we want to do. We want to spend money as much as we get it. Like, you know, as soon as we get it, we want to spend it. That's what we'd like to do. But what you need to do for you to be better in the future, you need to do, you need to save. You need to be smart about your money decisions. And I'm not saying like treating yourself once in a while is not good. Like having that glass of wine on you, you know, it's not, it's not all bad. But always find a way to hold yourself accountable for things that you say you want to commit to. Always find a way to hold yourself accountable. I have a system where I punish myself. Like if I decide, not punish, let me not use that word. Punish is not the exact, uh, it's not the right word for this. It's um. Let me say compensate. I have to compensate when I know I, I, I feel like a want is coming along and I need, 
and, and like I want that instant gratification right there and then and I know sometimes we're, we're not supposed to give in to it but there are times where if if I know I'm gonna give in to it I have to weigh my options how am I gonna compensate doing this okay so if I decide to eat this much calories today which means then tomorrow I'll have to burn extra, extra calories for me to be able to balance am I willing to put in the work well I have to you know because now you've decided like it's a debt you have a debt with yourself you you have to make sure that you clear the debt and it's been working Fuck. my leg hurts sorry guys my leg hurts I, I really don't know what to do runners please hit me up and let me know what what you guys do when your feet just don't want to do the work your my mind my mind well my mind was like <laughs> to be honest my mind was like 60 percent in today i wasn't all in you know but it happens and once you start doing the work you know you're already you're you're gonna be finishing it so that's what i thought earlier today when i thought uh you know what once i'm just outside even my foot i thought my foot was just acting up because i i wasn't 100 on running but then it turns out it was serious. It was actually serious with me. It wasn't playing jokes at all. Okay, so for the runners, please tell me. So my foot hurts on this side, just just around here. So I can't tiptoe. I can't go like this because it strains over here. And when I step down, I have to step like this. Like you know, I can't put my foot completely down because I can't So. Please let me know what you think I should do. I'm completely lost. I feel, yani, it's ruined my morning. Well, I'm not allowing it to ruin my morning because I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm talking to you guys, but right then you understand. So I, I'm not sure what this means for me, and I'm not even sure what I should do. Am I some deep hit, and then I don't know. But I was doing that for my knees, and then now look where I'm at. I, my knees are getting better because I realized my form when running was a bit off and once I corrected my form my knees started getting better I'm even running much better because of my form you know but now I don't understand what has happened down here I, I don't remember stepping on any stones like I don't remember you know getting anything physical it's just a pain from inside oh, anyway uh, my message today is self accountability. Accountability, accountability, accountability. Self love will not make it without accountability. Right? So you need to be accountable for your actions. Be accountable for your actions. There's always consequences for every action you do. And if you've done something wrong and you haven't, be sure that's a debt. That's a debt that you've, you've left out there. So, well, that's the things that I've been thinking about lately. And uh, it's my birthday month, you guys. <laughs> the whole month, September, baby. And the whole month is gonna be my birthday month. But um, I'm excited to start my new year. Not, I'm excited to just see what it has in store for me because I'm not I'm not really looking for a party. I'm not looking for Yeah, nothing nothing like that. I'm just excited to see what it has in store for me. I am always transitioning every September. I've realized that I realized by looking at my memories and all that. I'm always transitioning in September. Something new is always happening to me every you know, every year. So I can't wait to see that. And I don't want to keep you guys here a lot with my thoughts on today. Today is just that day. So, I hope you got my little message in there. <laughs> and I hope to see you again maybe by the end of the week. You can watch 75 Hard. You can just watch my journey. And this, this, that is the most authentic place I've been. And it's, it's pushing me. It's changing my mindset a lot. Because this is not a physical challenge. It is a mental is a mental challenge um, the praying every day I feel like I'm getting back to my you know how you can tell you're getting your power back like your 
slowly stepping back to yourself yeah i think that's where i'm at and even without this challenge or anything these are habits that i think i'm gonna keep for a very long time this is a system i'm creating so um right now it's a bit shaky because i have it's not steady yet because when when i have to when i have had a long day composing myself to work to work out in the evening is a bit takes a lot of energy you know like yesterday i had been working for hours you imagine for me even to decide hey wait leo let me just do some mobility workouts so that tomorrow i might be able to do you you understand when my days have been too long in the evening it becomes very difficult to work out i struggled the other week i could even be working out at 10 pm like you understand anyway anyway <laughs> you're just in your life what well, oh there's something else i wanted to add before i, I leave um uh when you're when you before you get into a challenge before you start doing something before you commit to something you have to visualize it right so and when i say visualize it you have to picture yourself doing this thing how you the outcome you know you have to give yourself all the nices now what you also have to visualize is the challenges that you might face and i think i didn't exactly do that i, ca I kind of thought uh, i'll be able to do the 75 days without having any hiccups but then as the days progress my days are becoming like the first few days the first weeks of starting this challenge like the first two weeks only actually when i was starting this challenge i was i wasn't so busy you understand my, my time was very manageable by by 7 p.m i do my workout you know i'm done by eight but now it started to figure a point where at 10 o'clock and i'm thinking oh my god i didn't i didn't I didn't visualize this. I didn't anticipate the fact that we gonna such challenges. And the the thing about visualizing is that once you visualize it before it happens, you can find ways to work around your challenges. You know, to overcome them. And I didn't do that, so it's hitting me right now that I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared, oh. But anyway, we get ready on the way. Ama tafanya aje. So we have already started. We just continue. The habit, the habit has called. So, uh, it's not even much about the challenge anymore. It's just about the person you become, the person you're becoming, rather. Right? Right. Okay. Without further ado, guys, I'm gonna leave this here and then see you again um, later. Bye bye.